Even my friends. I don't like your friend. Well, that's my best friend. I don't like him. I don't like her. I have a few girlfriends. I didn't have a whole lot of girlfriends. I didn't have one, maybe two. Uh, in my life. What are you laughing about? I'm trying to tell you this story. Well, and uh, she, I don't, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she doesn't know Jesus. She needs Jesus. And son, you need Jesus to try to go with her. And that, that would make me so mad. But you know what? I couldn't sleep at night. And finally, when I would release that friend, it was like, <sighs> Mom's like, parents need to push their kids more. Yeah. Yeah. In education, in the friends that they surround themselves with. Yeah. Can I get an amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. I've got three more. I want to challenge you beyond your normal thinking. <clears throat> We need to place demands sometimes. You grow, write this down, you grow when somebody places a demand on you. You grow when somebody places a demand on you. Gosh, I've got to hurry. It's like this pastor that placed a demand on one of the members. This man was always complaining about the ushers. You know the ushers, they're just not, they don't know how to do things. Always complaining. So the pastor finally says, okay, this is what we're going to do. You're going to work in the usher board. You're going to be one of the ushers. And the man says, I don't want to be an usher. He goes, you don't understand, the pastor says, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you to be, I'm not somebody's TV preacher. I'm not some, no, I'm your preacher. I'm your, I'm your pastor. I'm placing a demand upon you. You're going to be an usher for four weeks. So he says, well, okay. And then after four weeks, guess what? After four weeks, pastor never heard of a complaint about the ushers again. Amen. This man saw what it was like to be an usher, and that man intercedes for the ushers, prays for the ushers, gets some ties in the time, you know, it was on to, I'm gonna get an usher this time because they do such hard work. And now, he's never heard a complaint with the ushers, and guess what, now this complaint is about the people. Yeah, the people, they just don't know, they don't want to do it, the ushers are telling you, now he's complaining about y'all. But he grew. He began to pray for a ministry instead of complaining because a demand was placed on him. Here's the word of God in your situation. Okay? Activate. Pray for these people. Number three. Traditional mindset has maintenance as their goal, but it should be maturity as their goal. People are used to being maintained. The church's job is to get you saved. This is the old, the old traditional mindset. The church's job is to get you saved and keep you saved. No, the church's goal is to get Christ to be formed in you after you get saved. You're supposed to keep yourself in. Can I keep you in Christ? You're supposed to keep yourself in Christ. I can do that? Yeah. Paul said, I labor over you until Christ be formed in you. It's Galatians 4.19. So the church's job is not to keep you saved and worry about where you are on Saturday night or Wednesday night. you got to keep your own self saved. And the church, it's open. The doors are always open. We've got functions. We've got activities. We're not here to maintain. We're here to help you get to your next level. Number four, traditional mindset meets the external needs of the people. But it should be meeting the internal needs of the people. 